Good morning, my Libras. How are you cutie pies doing on this Tuesday morning? This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This, look at that. I got the Page of Cups and the King of Swords. What shall we... What, where is this message going today, Libra? Where is this message going today? All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you are a Libra, know a Libra. Feel like being a Libra. I'm on Libra. I am so glad you guys are here. What? Ooh, Page of Swords. I've been watching you. My wish fulfillment. Okay. And the star. Oh my gosh. And the six of swords and the seven of swords reversed. Libra, Libra, Libra. Do we need to go further? That was a reading in itself. King of swords again and the strength reverse. I feel like somebody's not holding back anymore. Do you have some new love going on or coming in? What's going on here? General energy for the Libras. General energy for the Libras. All right. <laughs> Look at what fell out. Emperor and the Seven of Swords reverse. Oh, I I don't even want to say what I think in on that one. I'm, I want to focus on new love here. If it's love, let it please be new. General energy for the Libras. What is the general energy for the Libras? General energy for the Libras strength leo card i love that i love that strength what's influencing the strength the king of pentacles taurus energy and i pulled the male one taming the beast that's the first thing i got you know because she's taming the beast here and again i'm just with this being a woman and this being a man is just you know it's energy so if you're a man watching this it could be about a woman it could be a man and man woman and woman you guys get how this works King of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Ah, oh, I love that. I'm sorry. I was trying to pick up something else on that card. Okay, what's the reason for the reading? What's the reason for the reading? Leo and Taurus. What's the reason for the reading? Libras. What's the reason for the reading? Seven of Pentacles reverse. That feel, waste of time. Uh, I'm honestly feeling, Libra, that somebody's making... A strong decision remember that page of swords that was floating I feel like this is all connected somebody feels like they're not gonna waste any more time they know what they want strength and king of Pentacles they know who they want what's in the past what's in the past Libra what's in the past ace of Pentacles a new beginning why do I feel like this person remember it was a strength reverse and an emperor upright was it or emperor right, upright and seven swords reverse all those cards fell out there was a potential in the in here I feel like there could have been a lot of time between this past and this I feel what I feel like what is in between was a seven of Pentacles reverse wasting time I think you could have waited for this person to see whatever value this is you could have pulled yourself back. You could have done other things. And in the center, we have a king of pentacles and strength. I feel like this person is finally ready to invest. There, This ace of pentacles jumps into a king of pentacles. Like it grows. Whatever you're planting, it's going to grow all the way. If this is only about a Libra out there and it's about your career, you're going all the way. By taking that chance saying, you know what? I can't waste any more time. I have to do this. Well, it's going to turn into a lot of success what's on your mind libra what's on libra's mind what's on libra's mind four swords feeling light as a feather i told you i feel like i feel like there's a lot of time between this and this and it's a lot of time gone right it could be wasted but just gone it's 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 no longer here four swords you are light as a feather you're doing good you're balanced you're you, you know you love your balance four swords is light as a feather i feel like you're just doing you and you're feeling good right now but this isn't you this king of pentacles and strength i don't think it's you i think it's somebody ready to take you up on that ace of pentacles from the past what's in the near future what's in the near future for libra what's in the near future Ooh, hidden high priestess cancer energy somebody's got some deep ass emotions that they're hiding away and it's probably this person bottom of the deck we got the king of cups and justice i feel like this is you that's your card the justice of course lots of balance look how much look at the growth in these two cards 
they're towering over the waters, they're in control of their emotions, and they're in control of their, their, their land, their pentacles. Pentacles is earth energy, right? You're in control of the tangible and you're in control of the emotions. Complete balance. Balance in your work life, balance in your home life. It's just a lot of balance going on. But the but yeah, look at that. Look at the growth. Look at the growth with that. I wanna why did I want to put it there? I didn't, but I'm gonna put it there. Ace of Wands. There's somebody, just in these cards and with those that have fallen out, there is somebody, Libra. I feel like this, whoever you dealt with in the past was a king of pentacles reverse not in a bad way but they couldn't invest in you when you were ready for them now you moved on this ace of pentacles has always been there i don't know if you realize that or not maybe you felt them they it's always been there i don't think this ever really got off the ground i think it's two people who cared a lot for one another that knew where it could go but they couldn't plant this with you for some reason i feel like it could have been seven months seven days seven years there could have been a lot of time in between then and now now we have somebody, maybe they were in a relationship and they're out of that relationship. Maybe they're not so tied up in their job. Whatever it is, this person's been keeping their emotions secret, hidden, always watching, always there, because she's watching in secret, right? And what they've been watching is a Libra who's, who's grown who's grown up a lot. You know the song I got in my head is September Mourn by Neil Diamond where it's that he comes back and he's like, you're no longer the little girl, you know, crying. You're no longer a little girl, Libra. If this, I'm, I'm just saying, if this is a woman, you're no longer a little girl, you've grown. And they've been watching how much you've grown. And they're ready to take that Ace of Pentacles because it's, it's always been you with this Ace of Wands. They're ready to let this grow, right? Yeah, Four Swords. I think, I just feel like they've been watching you. And I, that might sound creepy to some, but it is just what I'm feeling. I got to say what I'm feeling, guys. I got to say what I'm feeling. Those all belong there. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have a King of Swords and we have an Eight of Swords. Yep. And we have a Hermit. I think you might be a bit of a Hermit these days, pulled within balanced like i said i think everything in your life is balanced and it's good but you might not be the party the party animal you know i think you might be a bit of a king of swords i think you're taking care of business you're yeah you know you're just doing what you need to do life is pretty good but i feel like honestly this person's been watching you and I feel like they are becoming more of an eight of swords because now they got to approach a king of swords. I think you're really a king of cups, but I think they're seeing you as a king of swords as in strong ass boundaries. That's what a king of swords, he, he emits these boundaries. He's not going to put himself out there to get hurt, you know, and I feel like this person might be a little timid about coming forward. It's just the feeling I'm getting here. That's why they're in secret. She's very in secret. All right, what is the strength in King of Pentacles? And you know what's ironic, though? Maybe you thought this ship has sailed, Libra, but it's always been anchored. It's been anchored towards you. They just, they couldn't tell you. I don't know why. What is this King of Pentacles in strength? What is the King of Pentacles in strength? King of Pentacles in strength for Libra. What is that? King of Pentacles in strength. What is this King of Pentacles and Strength for Libra? We have the Two of Swords reverse making a decision. They're no longer they're no longer sitting on the fence. They're getting off their fence and they're making the decision. Give me another card on that, please. Another card, please. And oh, I love it. The Hermit reverse. They're no longer hiding themselves away. This person, you cannot convince me they're not sneaking. A, it's, they're very secretive, Libra. If this if this is online, they're, they have other names. You know, it's one of those. They're just very sneaky of, the, of how they feel. It's somebody who probably makes a, has a good job, who has who makes really good money, who wanted to do this investment with you in the past, but just couldn't. They just couldn't. And there has been a lot of time gone between between you two. And in the meantime, you grew. You could have done well yourself in your career either way it's just like you've grown and this person's always watching now they're ready to come out of hermit mode and make a decision to show up i love that what's the seven of pentacles reverse for libra libra what's the seven of pentacles reverse taurus energy 
oops, we got some flippers here. What is it? We have a Nine of Cups reverse. We have a Justice reverse. And we have a Hangman upright. I feel, like I said, I feel like somebody's pulled themselves back. Did they want to? No, maybe they were in a marriage that was shitty. And I do feel like that Justice reverse, they had to get out of something that was not bringing them any kind of happiness. I think when they connected with you, I think you filled all their cups up. You made them happy. You made them happy to wake up. You put a smile when they went to bed. And even if you never met this person, if it was just online, you made them happy. They remember that. They'll never forget that. And they feel like they lost it. They lost so much time with you. And the justice reverse, I feel like this is why they pulled themselves back. They had to get out of something that was no longer bringing any kind of happiness, but maybe they felt tied to it, but I feel like they're breaking those ties. What's the Ace of Pentacles in the past? What's the Ace of Pentacles in the past? Then 10 of Cups. Oh my God, it almost brings tears to my eyes, I swear. You were their happiness. You were, you were, ten. you can't get higher than a 10 of Cups for the heart. You were it for them. And they were, they just, and they saw you sitting there waiting for something to grow. I swear to God, I'm going to start crying. Oh my God, get it together, Stacy. They were waiting for something to grow like that. And you were waiting all by yourself. And they, it, it would pain them to see you all by themselves, all by yourself. There's not two people. There's only one person in this card. And they, they just couldn't. They, they couldn't do it. They couldn't do it, even though you were their happiness. What is this Four Swords and Ace of Wands? What is this? Four Swords and Ace of Wands. The Three of Cups Reverse. You had to go into a Four Swords because I think this was devastating. Three of Cups Reverse. They were your Ten of Cups. You were theirs. There was, even if you, you waited for them to join you on this Ace of Wands and Ace of Pentacles. This is, this is not just two people who find each other highly attractive, but these are two people who really couldn't, this is like a power couple. This is, this is, this is, if you want to call it, I wouldn't call it twin flame. I don't, I don't know about that, but it, definitely soulmates, you know, definitely soulmates that can, that can have a really great life, a really great life together. Three of cups. I feel like this is devastation and you had to pull yourself away. It's almost like you had to tell yourself a lie that it wasn't real. That's what I'm getting. It wasn't real. It was an illusion just to, just to try to move on from this. And I do feel like there was a lot of time spent between then and now. What is that? And the strength. And you found your strength again. We have two strength cards. You found it. You tamed the beast. The, ta the beast being sadness, grief, despair. And found a different kind of happiness. Within yourself, within your career. And you just, you moved on. I mean, it's, it's not that you moved on from this person, but you... What are you going to hold on to a three of cups reverse and three of swords upright forever? You, you found a way to move on. I, that's how I should have phrased it. You found a way to move on. And that hurt became a scar. It's always with you. It's not going to disappear. But you found a way to live with it. And then maybe day by day, the pain got smaller and smaller. And the person got smaller and smaller. But they, are never, they were never completely forgotten. What is this high priestess in the near future for Libra? What's this high priestess in the near future? What is that? There it is. The five of swords reversed. Apologies. Of why they, they couldn't. I feel like apologies. Maybe you thought they lied to you or manipulated you. I feel like this person's going to come out of hiding and probably tell you why they did what they did. Five of swords. Yeah, five of swords reverse feels like trying to mend. It's trying to mend the, the heartache of the past. And I do feel like they're afraid. With that King of Swords, I think they see you as a King of Swords. You, I, 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 I think they're going to face their fears and come forward. What is this High Priestess and Five of Swords reverse? High Priestess and Five of Swords reverse. And the Ace of Cups reverse. They are, I'm, I'm telling you, this is just, this reading is something else. They're try they want to heal this. High Priestess. I do feel like this is probably a very spiritual type of relationship, a very intuitive relationship, a very soulmate. I mean, we all have soulmates. We have a lot of soulmates, but this is the soulmate of the soulmate, you know? Ace, this is somebody you probably spent a lot of lifetimes together. And with this Five of Swords reverse and an Ace of Cups reverse, it's to heal this, 
to heal past hurt because Libra, you were the only one that could ever really fill up their cup. They could have fooled themselves that you were one of a million. I think you both had to fool yourselves to move on from one another. But the reality is slapping this person saying, there's nobody like Libra. There's absolutely nobody like Libra. Give me another one more card on that. Ace of Cups reversed and the Five of Swords reversed and the High Priestess. And we have the Three of Wands reversed. Is it the three? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's a new deck, so I have to really look at it. For some reason, I kept seeing this as a three of swords because it looks like a sword on this. It's a three of wands. Yeah, three of wands reverse. I think this is them. I think, see, three of wands reverse is no longer waiting. They could be no longer waiting, no, not wanting to waste any more time. That's most definitely. I think you stopped waiting for them. I think that's what that is. It's, it's, I think you had to turn your back on it. I think you had to stop waiting for it. You had to start healing yourself with this Ace of Cups reverse. You realize you can't stay in this kind of pain or it's going to crumble you. And you, you have too much going on. Maybe you have kids. You have people rely on, relying on you. And you just somehow pulled yourself together and got past it. But this person's always been there. Always watching. Staying in the shadows. Staying in the background. They're like background noise, always watching you. Always watching you. And we have, yeah, ten of, ten of Wands Reverse. I feel like they're just, this feels like laying down the burdens. Definitely laying down the burdens. Who is this fella? High Priestess Reverse. No longer secretive, no longer hiding at the bottom of the deck. Four Cups Reverse. No longer feeling... I don't know. I feel like this person has really transformed. I think you leave in their life, transform them. I think if you know it or not, you put them in a transformational box when you left them. Uh, you had no choice but to leave them. You, I mean, to create this kind of balance, you had to leave this sadness behind. You had to learn to live with it. You had to let the pain and the, the, the cuts heal and become scars. And you learned to live with those scars. But... I feel like they kind of did the same thing until they were ready. But High Priestess Reverse and the Four Cups Reverse, I feel like somebody's no longer going to make excuses. I think they're going to make that decision. And I think they're coming forward because Seven of Pentacles reversed again. They're tired of wasting time. Wow, this was some reading. This was a very emotional reading for me. Oh my gosh. All right, Libra. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your week and have a good weekend. Take care.